All right. Good morning, students. Um, it's me, Mr. Ramzani. And then what I want to start doing is including this video as an instructional video at the beginning of each of our lessons, kind of during distance learning. And this is there, so just in case you're not able to attend either the Zoom session or the Zoom session for some reason collapses, um, you have this video to go back to to kind of get the same uh, directions that you would during the Zoom class and see the lesson kind of using this video as your intro to it. Um, today's lesson is titled uh, U.S. History Number 3 and 4, Listening to American Stories. And we're gonna use that as kind of a, a segue into our year long question, what does it mean to be American? And we're gonna learn um, kind of how that definition is different for a lot of people, and maybe you could say almost everybody, um, but uh, just how that you know, definition is something that we, or how our answer to that question will come about through our better understanding of um, not only our own situation in America, but the situation of other people living in various other parts, as well as various other times in American history. So um, I just wanna do a quick introduction to the lesson and uh, give you guys a chance to see kind of what it looks like. And we can do that this way. Oh, maybe we have to do it this way. All right, so this will be the first slide, um, and I'm actually gonna jump to the post on Google Classroom. And Google Classroom has two things there for you to submit, and I'm just gonna go through those submission pieces now. The first one is titled U.S. History Number Three, Listening and American Stories Notes. And these are notes that you're gonna get from the um, uh, Google slide presentation. So everything you need to take notes on is listed here in the hard notes section in kind of the Google Notes, Google notes format. The only spot you're responsible for writing is right here. And what you write there can be very simple, very short, doesn't have to be long, complete sentences. Um, so you know, just kind of uh, use this space here to take notes on the information you get from the Google Slides. All right, and you get those inf information here. And it starts off with the question, what does it mean to be American? And then walks you through the lesson that goes with that. Okay, the directions are there. Information on the Google Notes format, or Cornell Notes, I'm sorry, Cornell Notes, which probably by your third year in high school, most of you are familiar with how to take it in the soft notes. I, I would say for some of you that do wanna like write stuff down as you listen, instead of popping from one page to the next, I would maybe write this information down on a piece of binder paper there at home, putting the, the bricks or the hard notes in the, say the three hole punch or the three hole um, side of the paper, using that red line as your border and then your soft notes on the other side. Some Cornell notes kind of links there. Um, just a definition for listening and how that definition should look in your notes. Okay, some information about StoryCorps, the organization that we're getting the stories from. And I would call these American stories, and that's kind of the, the mission of StoryCorps, is to preserve Amer uh, American stories all over the United States. It's a San Francisco-based um, nonprofit organization, but they do travel around the United States collecting stories from Americans in varying walks of life and, and various places. So again, your mission with this uh, listen to the story, learn something about the individual, and I'm going to kind of change this. How does their story fit as an American story? and what makes their story an American story. Okay. All right, we'll get a few. Uh, start with Will Smith. And the story itself, although kind of 
you know, recorded and, and played originally on NPR radio. Um, they kind of, some of the stories that had a real special kind of meaning to them, um, they did these little uh, animated pieces with. So you'll be able to kind of read about Will Smith here, just to write down some information on him, and then listen to his story, and then use that to determine what makes his story an American story. And I kind of put some examples there for what your notes should look like on this slide. Okay. All right, we'll go into Ronald E. McNair after that. Same basic piece. Kind of mentioned Star Trek, and I used kind of some examples about Star Trek. Patrick Haggerty. Wendell Scott. And Pen Panchita Espatia. So um, all those stories, you record in the notes, you'll summarize the notes. And then you'll have two kind of assignments to hand in. One you'll be handing in on Thursday or um, Thursday for period seven, Friday for period six, and that will be the note piece. Or you'll be doing the, um, and you will be doing the U.S. History Number Four an interview with a high school or secondary school graduate, and have that submitted by next Wednesday uh, before 2 p.m. Okay. All right, so now again, if you have any questions on this while you're working on it, is if you're using this because you weren't able to either get into the class or are reviewing uh, after the class is over, um, you can always send me an email at any time, and that email will kind of indicate to me, you know, what question you have and be able to answer it most directly. Um, but uh, again. You can use this video, you don't have to watch this, of course, um, although, you know, seven minutes into it, it's kind of the wrong time to tell you not to watch it. Um, but you can use this to get information on what you're doing, how you're supposed to do it, uh, just in case you do miss class. So any questions you have, always feel free to email me and I'll respond as quickly as possible. All right, have a good day and hope you enjoy the lesson.